Hey there, so we're still working through my favorite games of all time. Next up, my favorite narrative game. It's Chrono Trigger. So in general, I tend to think that the stories for JRPGs are a little bit cheesy. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you love JRPGs, but Chrono Trigger. For me, that was an exception to the rule. I actually picked up the game kind of late. It came out almost 20 years ago, but I played it on my DS here in New York City on my subway every day to work. So you know that scene in a lot of action movies like Armageddon or The Expendables where you're like getting the gang back together and you get to see where those individual characters have been and what they've been doing? Chrono Trigger is like that but across all of these different times in that world's history. There's something at the beginning of the game that I thought was particularly arresting. You're exploring this carnival grounds, making a bunch of different decisions, deciding who you're going to talk to, whether to help someone or not, playing carnival games. All of those little moments, those little decisions, are then used as evidence for your guilt or your innocence in a trial before the city's elders. This sets the stage for something that's really important about Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger was one of the first games to feature multiple endings, and what this does, that trial sequence, it sends a message to you as a player that your choices, they matter. But the thing that sold Chrono Trigger to me, as someone who really appreciates good story, is that the tie that binds all of these different characters is some kind of personal tragedy. You've got Frog who watched his best friend die in front of him, Robo who's been sitting dormant for hundreds of years and had to betray his own kind, Luca whose mother suffered a terrible accident and she feels guilty for it. I mean, this is all pretty serious stuff. The critique that's levied against games, particularly fantasy games, is that they don't really engage with the real world. But Chrono Trigger absolutely does. It deals with these big themes of loss and heartache and death and sacrifice. These are things that you find in a lot of the world's great stories. So that's why Chrono Trigger was my favorite narrative game. What's yours? And explain why. Hash it out in the comments, and I will see you all tomorrow.